Hey guys, this is going to be the next video in my Nomad Sculpt Basics tutorial series. And today I'm going to go over a lot of different functions of your mesh and how you work with that. And I'm going to go over what voxeling means, I'm going to go over what subdividing means, I'm going to go over what decimating means, different ways you can merge your image, all of that and how that affects your sculpt while you're working with it, and also how it's going to affect your sculpt once you export it for 3D printing. So it's all super important and hopefully this is helpful. Bye. All right, so to help y'all see the differences in these key features that I'm going to go over, I'm going to turn on my wire mesh so y'all can see that better. So say you've been sculpting something and you're working on it, you're starting to get like some nice details, but then it starts getting these big chunky triangles. And then you try to add in a little crease here and it gets all wonky. It's not behaving how you want it to. So there's two different things you can do in this scenario. One is you can go over here and you can subdivide it, which that's gonna multiply your triangles and give you more triangles to work with, which automatically is gonna give you a smoother surface to work with and give you a higher resolution image. But see how it still has these triangles that are stretched out, even though we've multiplied them, they are more stretched out than they are here. That's not all smooth up here. So then what you wanna do is you wanna go instead to voxel, pick what resolution you wanna pick for your image for something simple, anywhere between like around 1 to 200 resolution is probably going to be okay. If I'm doing a more detailed sculpt, then I'll usually pick something between 3 to 500 resolution. So let's remesh to like 150. Multi-resolution will be lost, which means I'm going to lose the difference that I have between these little pixels and these big ones in the same structure. So then our mesh is even all the way around. It's kind of redistributed our triangles in an efficient way. So then we can go in here and we can actually get that nice and smoothed out. We can go in here and add these details that we want again. So these are two super important features that you need to use together. It just one or the other doesn't really help you as effectively with those really detailed meshes that you wanna work with. Another thing is we want to go the opposite direction sometimes. If I am working on a really detailed mesh, then I want to export it. If I am having, you know, a million triangles that I'm working with, I don't want to export that into my print slicer. I'm going to bog down everything. So I'm going to go to miscellaneous. I'm going to go to decimate. So see how our mesh is getting chunkier again? But it does a pretty good job of maintaining all those little shapes and details that you put in there. It does a good job of keeping all of that together. Usually I would decimate it down to anywhere from 200 to 500 K uh, resolution triangles here. And that's what I'll end up exporting into my print slicer to save as my final. So another important aspect with the remeshing is voxel merging, which I mentioned before with the cutting out shapes and the regular joining, the difference between those two. And so say I have multiple bodies that I've made that I'm working with for my mesh, and I want to join them together to export them because that will get me a much more efficient compressed file, easier to export and work with. But I have all these different bodies, right? So then what I wanna do, depending on what type of model and result I'm wanting, I may, I may just select all these and do join one body, or I may want to do that voxel remesh that we did similarly when we were cutting a shape out. So with the join tool, the interesting thing is say if we go and you just join them without voxeling them, these are still going to behave as separate shapes, essentially. Like you can especially see if I go in here and I grab, this shape can move independently of this shape. If I do drag, it's gonna move them all together. But if I do move when these shapes are not voxel together, I can grab these individual shapes. This is really helpful for if I'm exporting something and I want those pieces to be able to be separated later, or if I want to be able to color them more easily in my slicer. Having these uh, differences in this mesh here helps with the Bamboo Studios color slicer, helps it see those edges a lot more so you can fill with that fill bucket tool. Another advantage is if I export it and I want to change something after I've put it into my slicer, I can throw it back into here and I can still actually go in here and do separate and each of those bodies are separated again and are their own 
and dependent body that I can work with. With my flexi animals, typically I will export them as a joined file. That way it keeps all of my links really clean and separated from each other. Versus if I voxel merge things together, here, let's see, go to Boolean, voxel merge, you'll see I suddenly have one uniform shape, which sometimes I want that for how I'm exporting things or how I'm finishing up a final sculpt. But that causes an issue with the flexies in particular because when you voxel something and it sees gaps and holes or pieces where it thinks things should be connected, it's gonna try and fill those holes and connect them. Which when you have your flexies, then you start getting teeny tiny little uh, triangles and geometry that are trying to connect and may cause fusing issues and things like that within your print. And you don't want that. And so these are two different ways to export them, either with the voxel merging or just that joining if you want to be able to keep those pieces separated later on. Um, and yeah, the decimation is something that I didn't actually know about until a couple months into my 3D sculpting journey. Um, and I was trying to figure out why it was taking so long for me to export my files. And then I looked and turns out my files were millions of triangles long big, which was bogging down everything. Um, and so then I figured out, you know, I to go in here and decimate my images and it's going to help with all that. So yeah, that is the difference between decimation, voxeling, remashing, subdividing, all of that and how important that is to your workflow and how your sculpts look and perform in your print slicer also. And so hopefully that makes sense and is helpful and I'll talk to y'all later.